So, really, it is such a pleasure to be here. And Congressman Trice and Congressman Etheridge, we're honored to, I'm honored to be here with you and all of the elected officials and all of the voters who are here. It is going to be a great year. It is. Obama is going to take North Carolina. <laughs> there is a huge groundswell of optimism that I'm seeing all over this state. And that optimism is rooted in the fact that it is finally our chance for change here. And as tough as things may appear, the momentum is on our side. And we are going to have new ideas and new leadership that's going to change Washington and stand up for North Carolina. Yes. Let me tell you why I'm running. I am running for the U.S. Senate because Washington is broken. And when we're paying close to $4 a gallon for gas, when the opportunity to go to college feels further out of reach for so many people, when rising health care costs are putting pressure on just about every single family I know, and the economy is on the brink, and we need new leadership. Things are out of balance because the special interests have too much control. We've all heard the stories. There's a friend of mine named Jill, whose daughter is 12 years old. She's severely handicapped with severe cerebral palsy. She goes to a wonderful school in Guilford County. It's called the Gateway Education Center. Annabelle is 12 years old. She weighs 27 pounds. She's got the cognitive ability of an 18-month-old. And yet she is subject to the same sixth grade test and the no child body model. And then there's Lynn in Kernersville. Lynn's a member of a small church. They deliver meals to the senior citizens of their church. And yet with the high cost of gas, they're having so much trouble, they can't get back to their church because they're on fixed incomes and can't afford the gas. And then there's another couple of that on the road, and that's Mike and Jean from Halifax County. Mike was in the Marines in Vietnam. He suffered post-traumatic stress disorder for over 10 years. Gina's wife is also a veteran. And the two of them spend their time advocating on behalf of the younger generation of veterans, navigating the complex VA system, readjusting to, to civilian life, trying to get a job, all the while Mike is trying to get the benefits that he deserves as a veteran. We need to make change in this country, and I am excited about it. on behalf of North Carolinians every day, every week, every month, and every year. That is what I pledge to do. And you know, I'm running for Senator Jesse Helms' old seat. Senator, <laughs> no. Well, the person who holds this seat right now is Senator Nowhere in North Carolina. <laughs> registered to vote in North Carolina, having voted in Kansas for 25 years. I dare say she's back in North Carolina a little bit more frequently now, evidenced by the fact she's not going to the Republican National Convention, so she wants to be here in North Carolina. But I dare say it's because it's an election year reality, and not the fact she really wants to be here working on her behalf. Well, we need somebody that's a lot more effective than that. Voting with President Bush 92% of the time and ranked the 93rd least effective senator is not working for North Carolina. You know, I've got a lot of things going for me. 
for me. But two things I've got going for me over Liddy Dole. First and foremost, I live in North Carolina. Yes. And secondly, my husband can vote for me. <laughs> has recently voted twice not to renew the energy credits that we deserve and have had in this state. We've got to have an energy plan, one that makes that takes the $17 billion of tax incentives right now that are going to the big oil and gas companies, take that away, invest that into alternative energy sources that's going to create good, clean, green jobs here in North Carolina. We have got to on our bright young students that are doing research at our universities on items like switchgrass and biofuels and wind, solar and hydropower. We've got to take that, invest in it. We've got to merge our university system, our fabulous agricultural system, and our manufacturing factories to make North Carolina the leading in entity and state for bio for solar energy and biofuels and alternative power. We can do that here in North Carolina and we can be the foremost state in, in the not only in the US state but in the whole world on alternative energy sources. responsibly in this war in Iraq. Yes. 